And now for section 8 of London Loop, that's your west to Kingston. So, Kingston, which is the end of the section, is seven miles in this direction. Most of this walk follows the Hogs Mill River and uh, this inspired um, the painting of uh, the Drowned Ophelia, uh, which of course is Shakespeare's uh, tragic heroine from uh, Hamlet who um, committed suicide in a river. And the painting is in um, the Na National Gallery. But I think it was a little quieter when it was painted. Mind your head. Very clean river, this one, the Ogs Mill. Certainly glad I put the old boots on to do this walk. It is a tad muddy. Very gorgeous day for a walk. Um, there's one of the South London parrots being very, very still, which is unusual for them. And to me, take a good shot of it. Yes, I'm watching you. Now, around here, the guide says there's the remains of a powder mill, but I can't actually say that I've seen it. Maybe it did like most powder mills at the time and uh, blow up and become disintegrated. Or maybe they knocked it down and built the estate on it. What a weird set of gates. It were what was originally here. However, it is the entrance to the next bit of the loop and away from that noisy rod. And it's uh, goodbye river for the moment as I venture off into suburbia again. And this is St John the Baptist Church in Maldon, which dates back to uh, Saxon times.
did have a little bit of a renovation 130 years ago. So the uh, brick bit, well the new bit, and the flint bit are the uh, Saxon bits of the church. Got a little detour to see the church, which is a nice church. We now picked up uh, the Hogs Mill River again. Now on a um, little busy uh, section. This is the A3. Now we've got to cross it and go the other side. I have to find the subway. Now the A3 is successfully negotiated. Like not quite to tranquil because you can still hear the road in the background, but it's a lot better than looking at tarmac. Not long to go now. We can have lunch by the river in Kingston. Now this innocuous looking stone is the chair of majesty and it was used to crown um, seven Saxon kings uh, starting with Edward the Elder in 900 AD and finishing with uh, the wonderful titled Ethered the Unready um, and it was uh, later used as a mounting block for horsemen in the town square and then uh, in uh, 1850 it was moved here to its current location and uh, it's what is thought it gives Kingston its name the King Stone there we are a little bit of history in the middle of modern Kingston uh, this is the medieval Clatton Bridge which is the oldest bridge in Surrey and um, earliest reference to it is 1293 it's supposed to say it gets its name from the um, sound of wagons clattering over it I have now reached Kingston Bridge which is the end of section 8 of the London Loop